Kia Sportage uh, LCD screen replacement. We will show you step by step on how to change the LCD screen and the touch screen on these uh, head units. So after you remove them from the car, you need to remove the screws that we will show you. So start with uh, the side ones. on the bottom sometimes you don't have to so it's fine if you don't have this one here this two screws here is not a problem and two on the other side as well okay with the pry tool, lift these flaps, do the same on this side, and the unit will open like this. Do not pull, do not lift, be careful because you have ribbon flexes here. So, to release the flex, first clip is lift up from the front, then you remove the second is lift up from the back so you need to lift from the back lift the flap up you release and the last one is the same from the back lift it up and this will release these free ribbon flexes then you have a few more screws uh, you have two types of screws here so remember the location one in the center, one here, two these screws separates because it's different from the other that are on the back here. Then you have all these surrounding screws, you need to use a Phillips uh, screwdriver. Check that you remove all the screws and then you have two clips on the sides and one on the bottom. So start by just pry to the right like this and just gently lift then to the bottom and there's one more here hidden. Like here. This will release the first metal frame. Then you have four more screws on the side. So all these black screws are the same. If you mix them up, it's no problem. And then you, fair, you have again four different types of screws. So these four, they are different from all the others. So again, this one, put them separate just to be sure that you put them in the right place. Okay. Then you remove the second frame. Now to remove the the screen with the motherboard, the, uh, this board from the frame, lift this clip here, lift it up and slide out the ribbon. And this is how you take the screen out from the frame. Okay. Now 
to be able to separate the screen and the touch screen from this board you have four more screws again this is different so put this separate because this is that tiny if you use other screws in this place you may damage the screen the new screen when you install it back so all these four screws must be put it back in the same place okay to release the screen from the outside lift the flap up slide it out this is the LCD screen connector this one is the touch screen so you lift it up and then you slide it out and the small one here this is the backlight again you lift up you slide out with a thin pry tool you go underneath the ribbon flex and gently you pry it up like this to separate it from the board slide the LCD screen connector out ribbon flex just lift up and this is how you separate the screen from the body to be able to replace it now if you have the new one swap it and just put everything back in place again align all the ribbons align the holes there to go in place slide lift up the small black flap slide the ribbon inside slide it till you don't see the white line and then close it on top of it now the touch screen you need to do the same lift up when you don't see the line you close it the LCD screen ribbon flex now be careful with it slide it out lift the flap slide it in close it on top of it put back the four more four screws the small ones in case you need touch screens or LCD screens we have them in stock so check the link in the description we will be able to provide you one If you have any questions, feel free to write us. We will answer to them. Now just slide the SD card ribbon flex back in the connector and close it. After you put all those four screws, put this plate back. Slide the ribbons between these spaces here. Just be sure that we go all in align it on the screws there remember that you had four screws that was a different shape so put all of those back start with this one because you will align the frame to the to the body Now the, the black ones. If you put all the screws back, you know that uh, you've done a good job. Okay. Now the other frame. Okay. Remember that you had two different screws, so you will go one in the middle. One on top here. 
Now the surrounding back screws again. Okay, now back to the tricky part, connect the ribbons back, so you need to be really, really careful here. So, slide the ribbon in place, open the connector first, so slide it in, and just lock it on top. positions and just put all the screws back This is all, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and if you need parts or any other information feel free to write us a message. Thank you, bye.